Hey guys, alright, today we'll be doing a simple web view in Android Studios. Uh, um, a web view is just simply providing a view of your website inside um, a Android appli application. Alright guys, so that's what we're going to be doing and let's get to it. It's not very difficult, so let me walk you through the code. Alright, first of all, click start a new Android Studio project. Alright. Um, let's just leave the name as default right there. Choose your minimum SDK, click next. And we're starting from an empty activity, click next. Um, we're going to leave that as default as well, click finish. And Gradle will start to build our Android application. So while it builds, we just have to sit and wait. Um, the, the Gradle build process is not the fastest, but it depends on the type of computer you're using and the speed. If your your computer is not so fast, it takes a while to build. And once you're 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 accustomed to Android Studio, you will notice that that is the situation. So that's pretty much how it works. So all right. So once your application starts up. What we'll be doing is simply going over to your Android view, which is the view that comes up on default. So basically, we'll be going into your res folder, which is your folder to your left. It's The name of it is res, which is R-E-S. So you click on your res folder, go into a subfolder called layout. And in your, in your layout, we'll go to your main activity HTML, which is called activity underscore main XML. All right. So while you're in there, you will see your default hello world text. You can simply go ahead and delete that. And you can just simply go over to web view, which is one of the widgets on your left in your in your um, options so just pull it over resize it so that it's visible and you can actually see it okay you can either re re resize it inside the text view or in the design view but we're going to resize ours in the design view because it's easier to understand C double click on it and change the ID to I'm going to change mine to web1 alright so that's the ID for it then let's go into our main activity and in our main activity which is in our Java file and in our com dot whatever the name of your application is in the main activity inside your onCreate method we are going to reference that same web view so we're going to say web view okay it will come up give it a name any name i'm going to call mine web with two b with two b's equal and we're going to cast this to our web view web view and then you say find view by id r dot id dot and look for that view that you created which is web view one and that's part of your 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 journey right there now let's just set this one create whatever the name is so mine is web web and we're gonna say set web view client which is very important you have that because if you don't have this then it probably will open some of your links in the default browser which is not what you want you want all your links to be opened inside the application and the application only so you say set web view client and you say new and you're gonna pass in web view client all right looks weird but just just write that and then now we're going to finish off by saying minus web dot set URL 
and you have to write the full part to the URL. So it's http colon slash slash www dot and I'm going to choose superman dot com. All right. So it's when when we load our app application, we should get to superman dot com within within our app. So let's go over to the manifest and guys do not pass this up. Do not ignore this step. It's very important that you put this in. Without this part, your application will crash or not load. So inside your Android manifest, which is found over in over your Android view, it's ma it's a folder marked manifest. It's the only one over there really marked manifest you simply add the permission use this permission android dot permission internet all right so you say use this permission android name android permission internet don't worry about spelling and all of those good stuff it does it for you and so you save and let's take a look at our application so let's try to see if we can run this and see what it looks like so wow our AVD manager starts up instantly that's a first <laughs> so let's wait and see how it looks so the AVD manager should take a while to load the, the AVD manager um, the AVD um, manager is really um, your Android device really emulated emulator sorry not manager emulator and it takes a while to emulate depending on the speed of your computer my apologies for calling it AVG man uh, AVD manager <laughs> it won't fight me I'm assuming alright so we're waiting for it to load takes a while still waiting as I said it depends on the speed of your computer and here's our application and that's it we're at DC Comics I guess they're the persons who own Superman.com alright and in our next video we'll show you how to enable JavaScript on your web app and thanks for watching guys.